Well, good afternoon. Some of you may be wondering why I haven't posted any videos lately. It's a, kind of a busy summer. Uh, should be no excuse, but remember, this is just part-time. The highlight of my career, however, has been uh, the last few months I've been with three other Ann Arbor Arms instructors instructing down at the Liberty Shooting Camps at Hillsdale College. If you're not familiar with Hillsdale College, it is a wonderful, wonderful facility. We'll get around to how shooting fits into that here in just a second. Hillsdale College has been around since, what, 1844, pursuing truth and defending liberty, uh, again, since uh, 1844. Little college located in South e or southern Michigan, a uh, small student body, but a phenomenal shooting range. The John Anthony Halter Shooting Facility, 113 acres, owned by the college, so generously donated by uh, one of their supporters. Uh, the facility down there is phenomenal. They have an indoor, well, it's indoor shooting positions, outdoor shooting, uh, five stand. They have uh, sporting clays. They have international trap. They have uh, bunker trap, I guess. They have regular trap. They have skeet, a regular trap being American trap, of course. Uh, skeet, they have archery. They have the Ailes Action Shooting Center, which is a number of shooting bays for action shooting all the way up to 100 yards. They are in the process of building a state-of-the-art indoor-outdoor rifle and pistol shooting facility. Just, again, phenomenal. A college owns their own shooting facility about five miles from uh, their campus in uh, downtown Hillsdale, Michigan. So I've been uh, instructing there at their Liberty Shooting Camps. That's Couples for Liberty and Ladies for Liberty. They do that, uh, I guess they've been doing it for about 14 years now. So uh, Ann Arbor Arms staff was selected to help out down there. I've just been just privileged to uh, work out there. Just phenomenal uh, opportunity. So that's partly where I've been. And the rest of it has been working on my shooting point, which is, well, let's turn the camera around and see if I can get a, a uh, well, I don't think I can during a video here, but anyway, the, let's see, there we go. So I have a gazebo just adding solar power to it right now. This is my indoor outdoor shooting facility so that I'll be able to shoot year round. At least that's the goal. Uh, of course, sun blinds, uh, the equipment storage room, not for shooting equipment, but for you know the non-essentials that, or excuse me, the the non-shooting related stuff. No, no guns or ammunition stored out there. Uh, and it is, I am working on getting it enclosed for year-round shooting. So that has pretty much taken up to my my summer. It's been where I've been. Uh, but now that I'm done with the Hillsdale experience, at least for this year, I'm back to some other things. So you're probably wondering what's coming up, and uh, let me explain briefly what I got in the. Uh, uh, in the can, right? I'm just getting ready to do some shooting with the with a uh, an Integrity Arms 1911, custom made 1911. And uh, my friend John Swarthout has loaned me a number of guns in the past. He just had this one custom built. I'll explain the whole project in the video. I'm also working on the last revolver. Now, I, I'm having fun putting that project together, but no spoiler on that until I get it up because I think it'll be an interesting video, at least. Uh, it'll have a story connected with it and hopefully interesting when I get to it. Core Essential sent me some new belts and buckles. I'm excited to showcase those. And I've actually been wearing one for the last couple of weeks. And you, if you know, you follow this channel for any length of time, you know that Core Essential is my absolute go-to wearing a Core Essentials right now. Uh, that's almost all I've worn for oh, probably half a dozen years now. I'll also be upgrading my SIG 365 380 with some uh, components from Armory Craft. And if you buy anything at all from Armory Craft or anything for your SIGs and a couple other brands, uh, check the description down below for a discount code, which will help you save a little bit of money and also certainly help the channel. I also picked up a lab radar. I may start doing some ballistic comparisons. I'm not going to do full ballistic workups, but I will be doing some uh, velocity comparisons, different barrel lengths and so forth. Uh, interesting to work with the lab radar, see how that works out. I also picked up a, a Garmin shotgun trainer that uh, tracks your shot as well as the pigeon and uh, looks at where the shot goes in relationship to the bird. So interesting stuff. Now they discontinued that, uh, but I'll, uh, I'm still gonna try it out anyway. My surgeon said that my shoulder is back to about 90 to 95%. I can go ahead and do what it, whatever I want as long as it's not too stupid. So I'll be digging out the shotgun and uh, working with that a little bit. I'm also gonna continue with the uh, occasional posting of the 22 Tuesday and the 380 Thursday. And finally, I've been working on a series of shorts. There's going to be 42 of them. I'm going to put one up a day once I get them all uh, ready to rock and roll. Uh, 22 shorts on a 1911, 1911-ish, and 2011 
one every day for 42 days, alphabetical, starting with Alpha Foxtrot, ending up with Wilson Combat. That's kind of fun, just shorts, uh, less than a minute long, and we'll see how that series goes. If there's anything you'd like to see, by all means, set, uh, let me know in the comments down below, and uh, uh, something, if, if I don't have it, I'll see if I can get it. If I can't get it, well, I'd, um, I'll keep my eye out for it. Anything that I've done in the past that uh, you'd like to see a part two of, by all means, drop a note in the comments down below and I'll see what I can do. Meanwhile, I want to really thank those of you who have been loyal viewers for putting up with me and not posting for the last few weeks, but now I hope to get back to a regular schedule. So that's what's happened. That's what's happening. Thanks for dropping in.